Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're gonna talk about the Sony, that uh, PlayStation Studios insists Sony still loves Japan. Sony still loves Japan, guys. Uh, never mind that the brand is in massive decline in Japan. There have been multiple articles about the decline of PlayStation in Japan over the last couple of years, and the PS5 has been kind of a kind of a dud uh, over there. You're still having a hard time finding them here. Geeky told me today that uh, PS5s are still uh, in demand, which is weird because there's really not a whole lot to play on them. But <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, yeah, they seem to have lost uh, faith in Japan. They closed down Japan Studio earlier this year, but according to Niche Gamer. Uh, PlayStation Studios head insists everything's fine. It's all fine here. Fine here, guys. Everything's good. It's all good. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 232,000 subs. Uh, thank you so much for the support. We do talk a little bit about video games uh, as it interests us, usually games related to uh, anime or, or along that kind of uh, uh, you know Japanese uh, pop culture uh, trajectory. Um, you know, any major news that, that, uh, you know, a studio done screwed up, like in the case of, uh, Last of Us Part Two, uh, cause it was, a, it was a pretty big story. People were not happy. In this case, it's, it's very interesting that, that, uh, Sony insists it's all fine here. Everything's good. Again, uh, every, every other indicator is that Sony has effectively abandoned Japan. Now I gotta give a couple hat tips here. Uh, Sharza Kitsune. Uh, who tagged me in on this this one? And uh, Pimp Master Broda also has an article uh, from a couple days ago that um, Sony and PS5's performance in Japan is becoming a grave concern. We'll we'll talk about that after we talk about talk about this again. Niche Gamer, uh, the head of PlayStation Studios, Herman Holst, insists that Sony Interactive Entertainment is still very much a Japanese company and loves Japanese games. We love Japan. In an interview with Game Informer, head of PlayStation Studios Herman Hulse was asked about Sony Japan Studio. On February 25th, multiple anonymous sources stated Sony Japan Studio was winding down original game development and the vast majority of development staff had been let go. The studio had created Ape Escape, Gravity Rush, and more. Ape Escape is a classic. Uh, this was due to the studio not being profitable enough in recent years, uh, desiring to make games that appealed primarily to the Japanese market with global appeal. Meanwhile, Sony wanted global hits akin to what other first-party studios had produced, basically interactive uh, movies, AAA titles, Western, Western titles. Sony later provided an official statement confirming Sony Japan Studio would be reorganized into a new organization. On April 1st, it wasn't an April Fool's joke, they were recentered to Team Asobi the creative team behind Astro's Playroom, allowing the team to focus on a single vision and build on the popularity of Astro's Playroom. A demo. <laughs> Basically, it's not even a real game. It's like a demo. Nonetheless, Hulse insists that Japanese games are still a core part of uh, Sony, Sony Interactive's uh, identity. I will say that we are in some ways very much a Japanese company. That's our heritage. That's still part of who we are. We love our Japanese games. 2016, Sony's uh, headquarters, Sony Interactive Entertainment's headquarters, were established in San Mateo, California, the same year Sony Computer Entertainment and more were restructured and reorganized. And that does seem to have a, a huge influence on the kind of content and the kind of audience that Sony is looking for current year, doesn't it? Holst explained Team Asobi would still be part of the Japanese game development and invested under Nicholas uh, Doucet. Doucet? People forget sometimes that we have uh, Polyphony Digital, which is a team in two locations. We're investing in our external development group out of Tokyo as well. And that's a team that has obviously worked with the likes of From Software and Kojima Productions. So we're very invested in Japanese development. And Japanese development is something that we love. I think it's such a core part of the PlayStation identity that I can't ever see us shy away from uh, Japanese or even Asian development. Just a reminder, PlayStation brand is in decisive decline. <laughs> research firm claims this is multiple, multiple research firms have claimed that it's in uh, decline and, you know, closing down the studio, not a good sign. Um, 
Developers who left Sony Japan Studio include Demon Souls and Bloodborne producer Teruyuki Toriyama, Siren and Gravity Rush creator uh, Keichiro Toyama. The latter formed uh, Boca Game Studio. Uh, other departures include Bloodborne's producer, uh, Gravity Rush's artist, and Demon Souls director Gavin Moore. Fear of Sony Interactive Entertainment turning its back on Japan came to a head with Sony Japan Studios restructuring. In case you missed it, um, they said Sony has been slowly abandoning Japan. They, they had a video out there. We've talked about it before. Um, so it said censorship. Censorship was a primary driver. Uh, you know, look at the Switch. The Switch doesn't have nearly the amount of censorship that uh, Sony has had lately. They said censorship on PS4 to meet global standards was forced in Japan, led to Japanese developers to release on other platforms or create different versions for PlayStation consoles. The restrictions on expression and suppressed the release of titles for Japanese, uh, yeah, restrictions on expression and suppressed the release of titles for Japanese users was also cited by an analyst for the ACE Research Institute, claiming that it is definitive that the PlayStation will fall in Japan. Again, this is the, uh, is this ACE? Yeah, ACE Economic Research Institute said that uh, the Japanese don't like the censorship. They don't like the games developed with Western tastes. In addition, Bloomberg reported uh, claims that uh, PlayStation employees and developers were losing faith in Japan as a market. The anonymous employees claimed that the company had begun to focus more on the U.S. It's very obvious. If you look at even the trailer for what's coming for PlayStation 5, it is very obvious that they are they are making games for California. <laughs> you know, that is it. They're making games for California. The Xbox at this point feels more Japanese than the Sony PlayStation, which is very ironic because the reason the PlayStation blew up the way that it did in the 90s was because the games, there were a lot of games that were very Japanese and a lot of them not censored compared to what Nintendo would have done. And then you look at the Nintendo Switch and they're letting anybody put content, any kind of content, basically on the Nintendo Switch. And a lot of Japanese developers are supporting that. Uh, they're going to PC. There really is no, you know, incentive, I guess, for Japanese developers to make the kinds of games they want to make for the PlayStation, especially with the Switch having, I believe, the largest install base on the planet for consoles. You know, why would you bother? Let's go out to see what uh, Pimp Master Broda was talking about. This is coming from Gaming Bolt. Uh, Japanese market's story culminates in the most obvious outcome. It's a long story to get here that uh, Sony and PS5's performance in Japan is becoming a grave concern. Uh, newest sales report from Japan paint a very stark and interesting picture. The top 30 software sales charts for the week were all Nintendo. There's not a single PlayStation game in the top 30. And while it goes without saying, it bears repeating the top 30 is all Nintendo while being one system, which is the Switch. One system has total and absolute domination over the software sales in an entire major market. This has quite literally never happened since the heyday of the NES and paints a rather sordid picture for the state of Sony's prospects in Japan going forward. This is honestly shocking. Why? Why is it shocking? Because even though Nintendo has traditionally done very well in Japan, Sony has always held the lion's share of the software sales in the country. The PS1 and PS2 were uh, absolutely the top. Yeah. I mean, it's look, this is what happens. You know, even though the, the switch is, uh, you know, a lot, a much less powerful system than the PS five at the end of the day, it's about the games. You know, the games can be 16 bit style games. If they're good games, people will buy them and play them. And, uh, Sony is all about the, uh, the, the wow factor in the wokeness at this point, I think. And, you know, Japanese developers are, are jumping ship. Uh, they are. So I think we're going to see the PlayStation brand uh, decline, continue to decline as long as the West is in charge of it. And uh, again, it's been a pretty rapid decline, too. And it, it does coincide with them moving to California in 2016. You know, just look at the the uh, the events as they unfolded and you can kind of trace it all back to that. And Japan just won't have it. And they don't need the PlayStation. They really don't. Got Switch, got PC. We're good to go. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk to you later.